This is the story of a boy in his dream. But more than that, it is the story of an American boy in a dream that is truly American. The year 1928. The time, spring. If you were a young man, your thoughts were undoubtedly turning to those of love. But if you were a young boy, your thoughts were of one thing. Baseball. Jackie's girl. Oh, hello. 
What are you doing these days, kid? Oh, I got a good steady job. Glad to hear. Come on, Dad. Easing up? Yeah, a lot. I don't know what's the matter with those guys out there giving it to Jack like that. Just because, yeah. because he's the best halfback on the field. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. And Jackie, I wasn't kidding about that either. They certainly have a lot of respect for you out there. I have a lot of respect for them, too. Believe me. How's Mac been doing lately? I always liked Mac. Mac? Oh, Mac's doing fine. Somebody told me you got an honorable mention on the All-American. Did I? Somebody else told me you cut class this morning. Could be. Was it because you worked late last night? And because I went to see about a better job. A full-time job. Why now? You still got some time. I graduate. Oh. Suppose I finish out the year. I'm no further along than when I started. No closer to getting a half-decent job, so I can afford to get married. Who are you thinking of marrying, Mr. Robinson? Oh, you know, Bruce. You might as well take it hard if you quit school now. Yes, I know. You ought to talk to her before you do anything, and to Mac. Yeah. It was Mac I was thinking of. Well, if you just wait till June and get your diploma... A lot of good a college education did Mac. Oh, Mac's all right. He's got a job. Yeah. A good, steady job. I thought you'd be hungry. I'm always hungry. It's been a while. Sure. Anything bothering you? I want to quit college. Right after the basketball season. What for? I got to get a job. I want to marry Ray. School's one thing, but you and Mom can't support Ray, too. You can't wait till you graduate. What good will a degree do me? They're not hiring colored football coaches. Not our color, anyway. Don't you want to play baseball this season? What good will that do me? Baseball's one sport they'll never let me in. Yeah, that's your best sport, too. I wonder if there's any place where they will let you in. There's one place nobody draws a color line. Yeah, great job for a college man. It may not be a great job, but it's steady. Listen to this. 
from the President of the United States. Greetings. <laughs> interesting letters. Oh, yes. Listen to this, Mildred. The other day, my commanding officer called me in and told me the good news. So I'm some kind of athletic director at that, even if it's for the Army. Sounds like he's happy. And he looks good, too. In his new picture. And a lieutenant now. That's a mighty fine job. <laughs>
see if we can wash up. D, if we can't eat inside, see if they'll fix up sandwiches. Miss Robinson, don't you have a good mind, or are you playing coy? I waited for you till I missed the train. What's the idea? You don't mean you're really with the Dodgers? as I should. 
I think I... You'll need one. You know why we brought you here? No, sir. Not exactly. But I heard you were starting a colored ball team. Is that it? No. You were brought here to play with the Brooklyn organization. Montreal to start with. Me? Play for Montreal? I want to win pennants, and we need ball players. The war set us back a little. So three years ago, the Brooklyn Dodger management decided to scout untapped sources of supply. Mexico, Cuba, all the Latin American countries, and our own country, too. That right, Clyde? From coast to coast. Yes, for players who can help us win. Many of the men we saw were good. Some had great promise, like you. You think you can do it, Jackie? Make good and organized baseball? If I got the chance. There's more here than just playing. I wish it just meant runs and hits and errors, the things you can see in a box score. <laughs> a box score. You know, a box score is really democratic, Jackie. It doesn't say how big you are or how your father voted in the last election or what church you attend. It just tells you what kind of a ball player you were that day. Well, isn't that what counts? It's all that ought to count. And maybe someday it's all that will come. That's why we brought you here. I want to see if we can make a start in that direction. It'll take a lot of courage. Yeah, it sure will. It might take more courage for the organization than for you, Jackie. Have you thought of that? I haven't thought of anything. It's all so sudden. It kind of hits me straight between the eyes. Just relax, boy. There's plenty of time. Pull up a chair and make yourself comfortable. Thanks. We're tackling something big here, Jackie. If we fail, no one will try again for 20 years. But if we succeed... If we succeed, Brooklyn will win a pennant. Yeah, that too. But we're dealing with rights here. The right of any American to play baseball, the American game. You think he's our boy, Clyde? Well, he can run, he can hit, and he can field. But can he take it? That I don't know. What do you think, Jackie? Well, I can try. Think you've got guts enough to play the game no matter what happens? They'll shout insults at you. They'll come into your spikes first. They'll throw at your head. They've been thrown at my head for a long time, Mr. Ricky. Hold out a player in the heat of an important game. Suppose I collide with you at second base, and when I get up, I say, you, you dirty black so-and-so. What do you do? Mr. Ricky, do you want a ball player who's afraid to fight back? I want a ball player with guts enough not to fight back. You've got to do this job with base hits, stolen bases, and fielding ground balls, Jackie. Nothing else. Now I'm playing against you in a World Series, and I'm hot-headed. I want to win this game. So I go in and you spike first. You, all I can see is your black face. That black face right over me. So I haul off and punch you right in the cheek. What do you do? Mr. Ricky, I've got two cheeks. <laughs> You under a contract with the Black Panthers? No, sir. We don't have contracts. Hey, any agreement, verbal or written, about how long you'll play with them? No, sir. None at all. All right. Clyde will give you a contract before you leave. Don't sign it right away. This is a very important move. Think it over carefully. Is your uh, mother living? Yes, sir. She's in California. Call her up. Ask her advice. We'll pay the phone bill. Yes, sir. And Jackie? Remember one thing, no matter what happens on the ball field, you can't fight back. That's going to be the hard part. You can't fight back. Ellen, get Jackie Robinson's home in Pasadena, California. It's Sycamore 7, 6459. Hello, Jackie. 
You all right? You got a chance for what? Oh, I can be the first Negro to ever play an organized baseball, Mom, if I'm good enough. If I can make the grade, only I'll be taking a big chance. Mac, they want Jackie to play baseball for, for Brooklyn. They do? Yeah. Well, Jackie, I don't know what kind of advice to give you, only... Only there must be churches in a big town like New York. Why don't you go find yourself a church and talk to the minister and see what he has to say? And Jackie... Anytime you have a real problem, listen to God about it. Here, talk to your brother Max. He knows more about baseball than I do. Come in. Are you Reverend Carter? That's right, sir. My name's Robinson, Jackie Robinson. Yeah, I didn't know you, Mr. Robinson. I need some advice. Important advice. I suppose we sit down and talk this thing over. You are new to this part of the city, Mr. Robinson? I'm from California. I came to New York yesterday to see Branch Ricky. Ricky? Do you mean, uh, Mr. Ricky, the baseball man? Yes. I'm a ball player, Reverend. I've just learned that the Brooklyn Dodgers have been scouting Negro ball players for a couple of years. And Mr. Ricky thinks I'm good enough to... Now, who goes out to these ballparks, Jackie? Just white men? No. Anybody can buy a ticket, Reverend. Colored or white. Now, tell me, Jackie. What do you think would actually happen if you were to get out on a white baseball field? I don't know. They might call me names. They might even beat me up. I, I don't mean what would happen to you, Jackie. I mean, what would happen to the colored people? Might start fights. Might even start a riot. That's true. On the other hand, every step forward for our people has started a fight somewhere. For the time being, anyhow. This is a big thing you have to decide, Jackie. And not just for you alone. It's a big thing for the whole colored people. I know. That's why I came to you for help. A great deal depends upon you, Jackie. What kind of a man you are. I suppose upon what kind of a ball player you are, too. Well, I don't know what kind of a man I am, Reverend, but uh, I think I'm a pretty good ball player. It might help. Yes, it might help a great deal. I think God will help a little, too. I should have written oftener, but you know how it is. You keep waiting for good news, something worth writing about. And then when this big chance came, I didn't want to tell you about it. I wanted to be sure I had the contract signed and everything. You know, sometimes when you wait for real good news, you wait forever. I guess so. I don't want to wait forever. Look, let's sit a minute. Let's talk it over. It's going to be real tough for a while. A lot of people don't want a Negro in baseball. I know. As soon as I make it thick, I'll come for you. We'll get married. No. I'm after you make good, Jack. Now, before you stop. I can't let you do that, Ray. I've got to go south for spring training. I'll have to face that. It might not be easy. It'll be easier if we face it together. Won't be any picnic. You marry me now, and you're asking for trouble. All right, Jackie. I'll ask you.
Are you Jackie Robinson? Yes, I am. This is my wife. Glad to know you. My name's Gaines. I'm an attorney here. Mr. Ricky asked me if I could help arrange accommodations for you. He did? Sent a man down about a month ago to look up a place for you to stay. I won. That's well, very nice of you, Mr. Gaines. Oh, not at all. We're proud to have you. Your bags will be in the check for my car's right off front. Hey, Jack, stand up. Come on, Eddie. 
like that, too.
Frank, I've spent my whole life in baseball, and I've always been proud of that because I've always thought baseball was a fine game, a clean game. I've always thought it had a good influence on the American people, on the kids growing up. I've always thought baseball taught fair play and sportsmanship. But if what you say is true, then I've been all wrong. My whole life's been wrong. Wasted. Tell you what I'll do with you. I'll go out to Jersey City with you tomorrow, and we'll sit in a front box. If anybody's got any rocks to throw, they can throw them at me. Are you nervous? A little, maybe. But I won't be when we get on the field. Another hour and we'll begin. Would you rather I didn't go? No, you might as well come to the game. I'm going to fall on my face. It might as well be in front of you, too. You won't fall down, darling. I won't. A triangle do it. You think I can run? I'm waiting to see me run this afternoon. I can't break in with just a scratch hit and a fielder's choice. I've got to... I've got to be the best ball player they've ever seen anywhere. That's... Anyone else? Now, that's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. 25,000 people are here to see baseball history made today at Roosevelt Stadium in Jersey City for this, the opening of the 1946 International League season. Even though the ball game has started, excited fans are still crowding into this huge concrete horseshoe. It's a holiday throng, eager and expectant, but with one thing in mind. What will the highly publicized Jackie Robinson do today? Will organized baseball's first Negro player make good or will he fail? You fans out there, what do you think? himself indeed a mortal man in the first inning by booting that easy play permitting Jersey City's first run but the game is young fans and so is Jackie
Throw it away, black boy. We're the welcoming committee. You'd better get out of here. No, Jay. Go on. It just makes it tougher having you here. We want to have a talk with you. We don't want you this time, see? No matter what happens on the ball field, you can't fight back. That's going to be the hard part. You can't fight back. You better not play tomorrow, get me? Get me? Having any trouble, Jackie? No. No trouble. We'll just walk to the bus with you. Fire right my way, you. Nice game today, Jackie. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'm not complaining, Blake. 
Hey, it's just that I don't want to burden a fair ball player with the responsibilities of a superman. Of course, Jackie might get big league pitching. But suppose he did come up. How do we know that he could... Well, that he wouldn't get out of hand. How do we know? Victor Ricky! Mr. Ricky, you don't have to worry none about that boy. He is the greatest competitor I ever saw. And what's more, he's a gentleman. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Brooklyn can use a good first baseman. 
Oh, I see. Go out there and show them. Run their legs off. Yes, sir. I sure will. Robinson off the Brooklyn team, didn't you? Yes, sir. Then why do you keep feeding him those big fat ones? Fat ones? I ain't feeding him no fat ones. No, then how'd you get three hits off you? Just lucky. All right, Carpen. He's up first in this inning. If you still want to keep him off the Brooklyn team, I'll tell you how you can do it. Strike him out. Okay. Watch me. from Ebbets Field. They call it Big League Baseball, folks, because you've got to be bigger and better to stay up here. That's the problem confronting Jackie Robinson at this very minute as he goes to bat for the first time in a big league game. Oh, yes, I know he's done all right in training. I've seen the papers, too. But that was only practice. From now on, it's for keeps. There's a little man upstairs in the press box who's known, among other things, as the official scorer. He watches like a hawk. He marks down everything. He'll make a mark for every move that Jackie Robinson makes, good or bad. And not only the official scorer's eyes are on the Negro rookie, the whole world is waiting. Everybody wants to know if Branch Rickey has made a mistake. Will they be able to say, I told you so? Let's see. in a few days. This nerve, that's all. Well, I just can't get on a shifting my feet. I missed the bag completely today in the third inning. They don't let you play second base where you belong. We've got Pearl at second base. First is where they need me. But if you can't get on to it, honey, and it worries it's you... It's got me worried, all right, and it's got me where I'm not hitting either. Anyhow, you're still the best base runner. They can't take that away from you. Yeah, but they can't steal first. Ow! What have you got in those hands? Steel springs? They're Nurse's hands, remember? Well, 
they better nurse me out of this slump, or Mr. Ricky will be looking for a new boy. No, oh, Jackie, don't wait till you feel the bag under your foot. Do it all in one motion. Oh, I just can't seem to get the hang of it. Try another one. That's worth it. Here, let me show you how. You almost had it last time. When you missed the bag, you kicked back for it like this. Here, you try it. That's the idea. All you have to do is practice now. Why do you want to do that? I can't make the grade at first base. He'd have a little job back. He's a team player, Jackie. Uh, and the weatherman apologizes for the recent rain. Well, let's get serious, folks. They can't say that Branch Rickey hasn't given Jackie Robinson a king-sized opportunity in staying in big league baseball. On that last road trip, when the California boy wasn't hitting too well, some of the out-of-town sports writers said that Jackie should have been out of there. He had a little trouble with first base, playing it and reaching it. He just couldn't come up with that extra base hit. Right now, I see Jackie stepping into the box. Dodgers really are pouring it on now. They're up at bat with one run behind in the ninth inning. 
And the Brooklyn Hearts today have skipped more beats than an absent-minded policeman. Well, this boy has set fire to the league since midseason when he hit safely in 21 straight games, missing the league record by one. He's laid down 42 successful bunts, a prodigious number. He's essential to be voted the Rookie of the Year, incidentally. Now we've got a runner on second, the, the tying run, and Jackie Robinson is at the plate. He can't bunt now. He's got to hit straight away. They're two out. Come on. Come on. to become president or play baseball for the Brooklyn Dodgers. 